Today we're learning how to multiply fractions. These are the steps in multiplying fractions. Step 1, multiply the numerators. Step 2, multiply the denominators. And step 3, simplify or reduce the fractions. I will also give you a shortcut in multiplying large fractions. Here are the six examples. Give it a try and play the video whenever you're ready for the solutions. Question number one. 11 over 9 times 1 over 4. Step one. Multiply the numerators 11 and 1, and that is 11, over, multiply denominators 9 and 4, and that is 36. In this fraction 11 over 36, there is no number that can divide both 11 and 36, so this is the simplest answer. 3. 2 fifths times 7 over 4. Step 1 is to multiply the numerators 2 and 7, that's 14. Step 2, multiply the denominators 5 and 4, and that is 20. And now let's simplify this fraction 14 over 20. Can you think of a number that can divide both 14 and 20? Yes, it is a 2. So we're dividing 14 by 2 and 20 by 2. Simplifying this, 14 divided by 2 is 7, and 20 divided by 2 is 10. So 7 over 10 is the simplest answer for this problem. Question number 3. 2 times 11 over 7. The whole number 2 is the same thing as 2 over 1 in a fraction. So times 11 over 7. Step 1 is to multiply the numerators 2 and 11. That's 22. Step 2. Multiply denominators 1 and 7. That is 7. Now we need to convert this improper fraction into a mixed number. How many 7s can go into 22? 3 times, right? 3 times 7 is 21. That means there is a remainder of 1. And we write the remainder as 1 over the denominator 7. So 22 over 7 is the same thing as 3 and 1 7. Changing mixed number into improper fraction we will multiply the denominator 7 times 3, that's 21. 21 plus the numerator 1, that's 22. So 3 and 1, 7 is the mixed number equivalent of 22 over 7. Question number 4. 7 over 4 times 10 over 9. Step 1 is to multiply 7 and 10, that's 70. Step 2, multiply 4 and 9, that's 36. What number can divide both 70 and 36? Both numbers can be divided by 2. 70 divided by 2 is 35. 36 divided by 2 is 18. Now we need to convert this improper fraction into a mixed number. How many 18s can go into 35? Ones, right? 1 times 18 is 18. And subtracting it from 35, we will have a remainder of 17. So we will write the remainder as 17 over 18. 18 times 1 is 18. 18 plus 17 is 35. So the equivalent of 35, 18 in mixed number is 1 and 17 over 18. Questions 5 and 6 involve large fractions. So now I will show you the shortcut in multiplying large fractions. First is to simplify fractions, one numerator and one denominator in either of the two sides. Question number 5. 11 over 8 times 16 over 9. In this problem, we can simplify the fractions 16 over 8. And 16 over 8 is 2 over 1. Now we multiply 11 times 2, that's 22. And we multiply the denominators 1 and 9, that is 9. Now let's change this into mixed number. How many 9's can go into 22? 2 times, right? 2 times 9 is 18, and subtracting it from 22, the answer is 4. 
So the remainder is 4, and we will write that 4 over the denominator 9. So the answer is 2 and 4 ninths. Question 6. 11 over 10 times 20 over 3. Which numbers can you simplify? We can simplify 20 divided by 10. And 20 divided by 10 is 2 over 1 or 2. So now we are ready to multiply the numerators 11 and 2, that's 22, and multiply denominators 1 and 3, that is 3. Now let's change this improper fraction into a mixed number. How many 3's can go into 22? 7 times, right? 7 times 3 is 21. That means subtracting it from 22, there is a remainder of 1. So we will write the remainder as 1 over your denominator 3. The simplest answer for number 6 is 7 and 1 third. Now it's your turn for a 3 problem quiz. Give it a try and play the video whenever you're ready for the solution. Question number 1. 11 over 8 times 1 over 4. Step 1 is to multiply the numerators 11 and 1, that's 11. Step 2, multiply denominators 8 and 4, and that is 32. There is no number that can divide both 11 and 32, so this is the simplest form for question number 1. Question number 2. 2 times 5 over 9. This problem is the same thing as 2 over 1 times 5 over 9. Step 1 is to multiply the numerators 2 and 5, that's 10. Step 2, multiply denominators 1 and 9, that's 9. Since this is an improper fraction, then we have to convert this into a mixed number. How many 9's can go into 10? 1 times, right? 1 times 9 is 9, subtracting 9 from 10, it is 1. So there is a remainder of 1, and we will write it 1 over the denominator 9. The simplest form is 1 and 1 ninth. Question number 3. 7 over 5 times 20 over 9. Since we have a large number for question number 3, we can simplify first 20 divided by 5, and that is 4 over 1. So now we will multiply 7 times 4, and that's 28. And then we multiply 1 times 9, which is 9. Now we will convert this improper fraction into a mixed number. How many 9's can go into 28? 3 times. 3 times 9 is 27. And subtracting 27 from 28, the remainder is 1. So we will write the remainder as 1 9th. The simplest answer for this problem is 3 and 1 9th. Thank you for watching. And please consider subscribing to my channel at Celso Academy.